for you on for Wednesday. Hope you're, hope you're doing fine. Just a quick one this week. Um, I think last week I mentioned that there was a Mark Miller who was doing the grandfather boiler with a few additions on it. I was contemplating buying them. I was also contemplating buying the Bluetooth controller. But I'm looking at about 230, 240. Big chunk of change. I want one. I want, I want them both. I don't need them, but I want them. So it's, it's all in here, man game, man games. And can I justify paying all that money when the system that I've got is working fine? So I'll keep you posted if I do anything like that. And then, for room wise, the last brew that I did was the Whitbeer. And I ain't got any of my figures with me. But there's one of the bottles there. I bottled every single one of them. And it's going quite clear. Yeah, you can't see up there. Quite clear. There was quite a big aroma on it. I put uh, there was coranda with that way in it. And that Kuroko orange peel. So Mark from that now brewer brewer sent me it. We worked out he wanted about 25 grams in. And I put the full lot in and he sent me. I weighed them out and it was about 47 grams, 50 grams, and I put the full lot in. So, and it wasn't quite a, a big, an aroma on it. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So that was, it bottled it up. It needed to ferment at 12 degrees. And, and then he said, I'm looking at between 20 and 30 degrees in here sometimes. So it's a bit too high. So I thought, right, not in a fermentation fridge. I'll whack them all in there, set it all up. Doing fine. Then I decided to do another brew. So what I did, I did a brew up weekend. Did the Yorkshire Bitter. Um, thought about it by the book. Pale malt, crystal malt, torrified wheat, chocolate malt, challenger, and first gold. Got my yeast in me, you've got my yeast mixed up. Didn't buy the wild yeast, but I used USO5, so I'm not fussed about the yeast. So, yeah, I still enjoy it. So when we're making that beer, the Yorkshire bit here, I need a fermenting fridge to put them in. So I had to get some work done in the house, on the conservatory, and there's some um, 12 mil ply outside, a marine ply I think it was. So while I was out, I cut a bloody board of it out, put it in the fridge, put some malls in, and I've made a shelf from the fridge. It's a bit high up in the fridge, because when I shut the doors, my tap pipes hit them, so that they need adjusting. So, but they're in there at the moment, keeping probably less than 12 degrees. So it's better than being 42 degrees. So that's, that's that bro. Done the Yorkshire bitter. The next one I want to do, it's going to be, it's going to hopefully be in a few weeks because I'm on call for the next three weeks. At least I can wing it and not, not do them all. So three weeks is a long time. So the next one I'll do is the New, Eng New England RPA. I've seen loads of people doing them and I'll, I'll do, do my, my take on them. Take a bit off here and a bit off there, a bit off there. The hops I want to use is Eldorado, Galaxy and Fig Secret. So the three that I want to use at the moment. It may change. I've got a few bits to get to do it, but that's going to be, I think, my next one. So I've got quite a few hops, full bags of hops that I want to get rid of. Loads of half packs of hops that I need to get rid of. Probably do um, a washing up bowl brew where I stick all my half packs in, mix them all up, and adjust them according to I've done it before. And the idea was from Ant Rogerston many moons ago. But it is when he's a little nipper. So, I think that, yeah, that's, that's it, folks. Um, I've done my shopping. Um, two brews, one bottled, one's in the fermenting fridge. So, on tap, I've still got my ESP Summer Ale and Stout. Summer Ale is quite nice, that was all the Bible. The ESP is nice, but one day I can drink it. And it, it's spot on. Another drink I drink, I think, I bloody hate it, I don't like it. So it, 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 it must be taste buds different days that like you prefer different beers. My stout, I ain't touched my stout for quite a while actually. So I need to get them done and get them 
free broad. So I get them kegs emptied. And I think that's it folks, bottle vase. I've got a couple of summer ale in bottle. The <coughs> um, Russian Pale still last in bottle. And that's it, there's no else happening. So I'll keep you all posted. I've got all this bit of, bit of gets on. I did do a, a video of it, which then was the last one. Video here, little snippet there, little snippet there, little snippet there, little snippet there. Little snippet there. Stick them all in, there's no audio, so oh, I'm hoping the videos are the right way around, I'm upside down, but hey oh, where things go. Right, go back in the house and get to watch a bit of TV and get this video uploaded. So, thanks very much for watching and subscribing, and it's always going to be a quick one. See you later, guys. Bye.